To all you Dillian White fans out there, I hate to break it to you guys, but Dillian White is not British. I know you guys claim him and as one of your own, like, oh, Dillian White, he's British, and I'm patriotic, and I'm from the UK, so I gotta support Dillian White. But he's actually not even British. Like, he wasn't raised in Britain. Dillian White is Jamaican. He was born in Port Antonio, Jamaica. He is Jamaican. He's not British. So I don't understand why all these uh, UK boxing fans act like he's one of them. If you actually go to this guy's uh, Wikipedia, let's go to his Wikipedia. It says Dillian White was born in Port Antonio, Portland, Jamaica. Then it says in the 1990s, White moved with his family, including his brother, Dean, to the United Kingdom at 12 years of age. Let me read that. Dillian, again, Dillian White was born in Port Antonio, Portland, Jamaica. And in the 1990s, White moved with his family, including his brother and Dean, to the United Kingdom at 12 years of age. Do you want to know what that means, fellas? That means that Dillian White spent the first 12 years of his life in Port Antonio, Jamaica. So it wasn't like he was born in Jamaica and then two weeks later they moved to the UK and then he grew up in the UK. He didn't grow up in the UK. He grew up in Jamaica. He spent the first 12 years of his life in Jamaica. That's why he has that accent where he sounds British but then he sounds Jamaican. Because he's really Jamaican masquerading as a Brit British person. What happens is at 12 years old, his family, his mother, I guess, and parents decided to uh, move to you know, to the UK. And then all of a sudden he, he started training boxing and all of a sudden the UK boxing fans st started acting like he's one of them, but he's not. Matter of fact, Dillian White is closer to being an American than being a, U a, a guy from England because Jamaica is closer to America than it is to England. I could be in Jamaica in three hours if I go in plane. Yeah, you want to know how long it would take if I wanted to go in plane. If I, went, if I wanted to go to San, uh, I mean Port Antonio, Jamaica, it'll take me three hours in plane to get there. Do you know how long it'll take to go from San Antonio, Port Jamaica to Brixton, UK? It'll take sixteen hours. So Dillian White is actually closer to America than he is to you guys, the UK. I just don't get this. Don't label Dillian White as a British guy when he's actually a Jamaican guy. Yes, he, he's he been living there for years, but still, he's still Jamaican. That's like if me being an American, like say I was born in America, and then like say I spent the first 15 years of my young life in America, and then my family moved to the UK, and I moved to the UK, and then I started training boxing there, and then I turned pro, and then all of a sudden I start going around saying, I'm UK, I'm from the UK, and all of a sudden the UK boxing fans act like I'm one of them. See how it wouldn't work? Because it will be like, uh, dude, you were raised in America. You're not from the UK. And I, you have an American accent. Uh, it's kind of like with Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis was born in Canada. Yet, a lot of these UK people, they they, they proclaim him as, like, as one of them. When he's actually from Canada. He was born in Canada. So he's actually closer to being an American than being British, you know. Same situation with Dillian White. You guys act, are, are proclaiming this guy as one of yours, but he's not British. He's from the island country Jamaica, uh, which is 16 hours away from London, British over there. So, <laughs> again, guys, uh, just, just some food for thought. Food for thought.